Hey, what's up everyone? Are you looking to add a privacy policy to your WordPress site? Well, if you are, then look no further because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a simple privacy policy page to your WordPress site in no time at all. What is even better is that I'm gonna show you how to easily add a link to that page in your site navigation and your sidebar widget so that it can be found by any site visitor. Let's do it. So the first thing in this video, I just wanna show you what website I'll be working on. So this is a demo site with a fresh install of WordPress and the Astra theme installed as well. I've also used one of the starter templates from Astra theme and the template I picked is a bicycle shop template, so an online store. And pretty much every single website should have a privacy policy on it, especially those that process people's data, like online stores, membership sites, and things like that. So if you haven't got a privacy policy, we definitely recommend putting one on there and making it easy to find on your website, as you can see, there isn't anything in the navigation menu at the moment on this site or in the footer either that points to a privacy policy. So we're gonna sort that out. We're gonna add a privacy policy to this website and then we're gonna put a couple of links, one in the navigation menu and one in the footer right here so that visitors can find that information easily. So how do we do that? So first things first, all we need to do is head over to the dashboard and actually every install of WordPress comes with a privacy policy already created in it. It's just that WordPress chooses to make that page a draft page rather than a live page on the site. So to access the settings for the privacy policy generated by WordPress, all you need to do is come to settings down here, hover over that, and then click on privacy. Now you're gonna see this privacy settings page and it's just gonna give you a little bit more information about the privacy policy that's been generated by WordPress. Obviously, WordPress want you to also do your own research and find the information that's relevant for you to put into your privacy policy for your visitors or customers. So all this information is just telling you here that you need to, where possible, add additional information for your industry or business. To create a new privacy policy page, you just click on the create button right there, or you can choose your privacy policy page if you've already created one or you want to use the one that WordPress has generated. If you click the little drop down right here, you'll be able to pick the privacy policy page out of the list of pages and then click on use this page. Now you've got that page set as your privacy policy page, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the policy guide, which is up here if you just click on it. That's gonna give us a little bit more information about what this guide is about. And if you click the drop down on the privacy policy guide, you will see that you get all of the headings that you get in the privacy policy with an explanation of what kind of information you need to provide in that section. So that's really handy, a good starting point for you, but also you can do more research do a quick search on the internet and you'll be able to find more privacy policy information. As an added bonus, I'm gonna drop a link in the description to the WP Beginner privacy policy page. So you can check out our privacy policy and what we've added into that. And then maybe that'll give you an idea of stuff that you could add to your privacy policy as well. So how do we edit this privacy policy? Well, if you come up to settings here, you just click on that. You'll see in this bit of text here, there is a link to edit or a link to preview. So you can click on either of those. So if you wanna edit, you click on the edit link and that'll take you to edit the page. Similarly, if you go to pages over here, you'll be able to see the privacy policy page in this list of pages and you just click the little edit link down there. So this is the privacy policy page that's been generated by WordPress. And as you can see, I'm using the block editor on this site and each of these sections has a heading and some suggested text underneath that, which is easily editable. So you can change that text to the information that you need to provide on your site. Once you're happy with your privacy policy page, to publish it, all you need to do is come up here to the top right and click on publish. And then click publish again. And it now is showing that your privacy policy page is live on your site. So if you wanna view that, you can just click the link there. And now we get to see our privacy policy on our website. So now we've got that page all set up, we just need to add a few links to the navigation menu and the footer widget. So to do that, all we're gonna do is come back over to the dashboard. Then once we're at the dashboard, we're just gonna head down to appearance and then click on menus. Now you wanna make sure when you're on the menu section that you choose the menu that you want to add your link to. So I know that I want to add mine to the primary menu for the navigation menu. So I'm just gonna make sure that's selected. Now that that's selected, we can come here underneath add menu items, under the pages section, we should be able to find a privacy policy page if we click on view all. And yep, there it is, privacy policy page, just click the checkbox there and then click add to menu. And that's now dropped it right here underneath the contact section on the navigation menu. If you open this up by clicking the drop down, you can also change the navigation label if you want to as well. I'm gonna leave it as is, and then just to make sure that's all saved, we're just gonna click on the save menu down here in the bottom right. So to double check that, we're just gonna head over here and click to view the site. 
as you can see, privacy policy has now been added to the top navigation menu. So how do we add a link to our privacy policy page in our footer widget? Well, if we head down to the footer, we can see that the footer is broken into four sections here. So each one of these is a footer widget. And inside the footer widget, we're using a navigation menu widget to show the different links to the different pages. So the footer widget I want to use is number two right here, and it's underneath the useful links navigation menu. So if we head back over to the dashboard and we come down to appearance, hover over that and then click on widgets. And if we just close the main sidebar widget here, we can see that there's the footer builder widgets are right here. So we want footer builder widget number two and we can see that the useful link navigation menu is already in there. But if we wanted to add it to this widget, all we'd need to do is click on add block and then all we need to type in the search box is navigation and then we just click on the navigation menu widget. That then allows you to add a title to that navigation menu and select the different menu that you want. We would click on the useful links one here and then once you click away from that, it adds that to your footer widget. So I'm just gonna get rid of that because we've already got one in there already. So to add the privacy policy link to this, all we need to do is very similar to what we did with the navigation menu. Just head over here to menus, click on that. And when we're on the menu page, we just want to select the useful links menu that's been created. But if you haven't got an additional menu created and you've only got a primary menu and you want to create one for the footer widget or a sidebar widget or something like that, then you can click this link here to create a new menu and then add the links that you need to it. As we've seen on this website, I've already got a section for useful links. So I'm just going to select that menu and that's put that menu right there. So I can see all the links contained in that menu right here. And I'm just going to add the privacy policy to this. Add to menu. So it's right there. And then we're just going to click save menu. And if we head back to the website and we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we should be able to see the privacy policy is now linked at the bottom of the page as well. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you let us know in the comments below and also Subscribe to our channel to see more videos that help you out with your WordPress site. Here's a couple of videos you might want to check out next. Thanks for watching.